Howdy Coaster Squad and welcome back to my vlogs. Uh, if you guys are brand new to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe down below and hit the like button before this video starts. Uh, we're here at Six Flags uh, once again. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's happening, so I figured I'd go ahead and show it off. So uh, let's go. So walking into the park right now, uh, you know, skyline is uh, looking pretty good. There's not really anything new uh, going on right now, so uh, yeah, I just figured I'd show off the skyline because really nothing's happening, obviously nothing. Uh, I mean, nothing's happening. I mean, come on, there's really nothing to show off on the skyline. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get inside the park. So the park is actually entering the final stages of Mardi Gras right now. Uh, I believe this is the second to last weekend of Mardi Gras. Next weekend is the last. Uh, same with SeaWorld as well. So uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, I looks like they're doing a show up here. That's cool. There's my little gator friend. I don't know if this gator even has a name. Comment down below what you would name this gator. Oh, we got Bugs and Daffy doing a meet and greet over here. And then, hey, the show. I haven't seen the show yet. This is cool. So Boomerang's back up and running. Uh, I don't remember if it was open last time I was here, but it's open now. So. That's pretty cool, yeah. It doesn't seem like there's anything going on over here. Um, oh, what's that? What's that, you may ask? What's that? Oh, that's Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger. It's being constructed right now. <laughs> yeah, so the skyline has definitely changed forever. I was totally screwing with y'all. Can we just talk about how amazing this roller coaster looks? I mean, it's not even fully built yet, but this looks awesome already. I'm so excited for this ride. Um, this is my first time seeing this in person. Actually. I saw it from the car yesterday when I was driving home from uh, from work, but uh, but yeah, this looks amazing. There's the first drop over there. I think that's the first drop. That's what, the, that's what they posted. Oh, it's oh, it's a train. Train's open. That's good. Uh, but yeah, we might have to go on uh, on Miss Kitty today and go check out the construction from a better point of view. But that looks awesome. Also, Daredevil dives open. Not that I care, but hang on. Since we're here, might as well wave the train. Hey, train! Hey, there's like nobody on the train, but who cares? I'm still waving. Oh, rejected, rejected, caught, rejected. Oh, look at the sign on the back of it. Oh, I missed it. Dang it! I've never noticed these flowers here before. I think these are new. These are really pretty. Renovations, love that. So as part of the 30th anniversary, they have a lot of these little uh, little places over here. Just like little uh, throwbacks to the past. Oh, Superstar Concerts, Brad Paisley, Luis Fonsi. That's pretty cool, Despacito guy. That's pretty cool, there's one over here too. Oh, oh this is a sample in the 30th anniversary shirt. It's just more modeling him, that's pretty cool. I already had the purple one. Oh, that's not purple, that's black. Never mind. I have a purple one. It's pretty cool. If you're wondering where you can get some of these 30th anniversary shirts, Trader Six right over here has some of them. Uh, also, the front gift shop um, that I'm forgetting the name of has them as well. So there's blue, pink, black, and purple. I have the purple one. So yeah, very nice. <laughs> I just saw this on Instagram the other day. Uh, they've added little. Um, switchbacks here for uh, cactus jacks they add these but they don't bring back the curly fries how unfortunate but anyway yeah they also have a couple of uh then and now things for uh the water park oh we saw oh, i saw this last time oh we did this last time uh me jay and dom saw this last time so yeah yolo water and hole that's what it used to be called before it was called uh whitewater bay so you can also scan that QR code and view the uh, trail map. That's pretty cool. Heading into Crack Axel Canyon, getting a better look at um, the Dr. Diabolical's construction. Uh, it's just, cr this is crazy, dude. I mean, when, when this thing first got announced, it, it didn't seem real. Like, it just felt like a dream. And now that they're finally constructing it, it's just like, oh my God. 
This is so cool. I cannot wait to ride this thing. It looks incredible. And this is why you don't rope drop Iron Rattler, kids. <laughs> it never opens at 1030. Never. So I know they just extended the uh, uh, buying the 30th anniversary walkway bricks. Um, so if you haven't done that, go do that now. Scan the QR code. It's been a minute since I've actually been on Daredevil Dive. Partially because I'm so freaking terrified of it. So, hey, let's ride it right now while we're here. So we're about to go on Daredevil Dive right now, our Zamperla Super Air Race, uh, which is notorious for breaking down a lot, so hopefully it doesn't do it on us. But this ride is super fun. I actually haven't ridden it in a very long time, like I was saying, so... Oh, there goes Iron Rattler. But yeah. It's been a while, hopefully I don't get stuck upside down. That would suck. Knock on wood. Oh crap, there's no wood. Uh, cool. I don't remember there being a little uh, flame thingy right here. And also, those drink, those uh, little bag holder thingies might be new. Or maybe she's not been ridden this in a long time. That's probably why. Yeah, that's probably it. I do know that sign over there for the train is definitely new. Never seen that there before. But yeah, time to ride Daredevil Dive. Woo! Uh, dude, I have a curse on me. Every time I get in line, it breaks down. <laughs> they just tried to run it, and then the music was playing, but the freaking thing didn't go up. And I was like, yep, it broke down, didn't it? And then if, as soon as they hear it, I'm like, bye. I can, I'm probably I'm never going to be able to ride this thing again. Every time I say I'm going to do it, I never do it. And then whenever I do it, it breaks down. So I had just either horrible luck or just impeccable timing. <laughs> One of the two. So let's go find something else to ride. So last time I was here, I noticed they were still running the uh, the Go Big experience on uh, Skyscreamer. Uh, they still have the little harnesses for it and the little uh, restraints. But uh, it doesn't look like any of them are running right now. So it looks like it's just normal Skyscreamer. Huh, interesting. Well, I figured out why no one is doing the flight thing. Apparently it costs money to do that now. <laughs> uh, it's a $6 flight ticket. Not too bad, but when you could do it for free, nah. This looks like Joker and Daredevil Dive broke down at the exact same time. I'm honestly not surprised. <laughs> Joker is also a Sam Perla ride, so it also breaks down a lot too. Yeah. Already starting off to be a Six Flags day for the Sam Perla rides. I guess Superman will be our first ride today. I'm not complaining. Love Superman. Pretty decent ride on Superman. Um, I realized I had not dressed very warm for today. <laughs> I have a very light hoodie on and shorts. It's like 50 degrees out. It's gonna get warmer, that's why I wore shorts. But, uh, Oh, that's kind of cool. I have Sobble and Score Bunny up there somewhere. Um, yeah. So, uh, that was very cold, as you can imagine. Uh, a little throwback to the Venom now. This is what, what used to be here until Joker replaced it, or Twister. Ah, I remember it. Ah, uh, what a good ride. I'm, I actually kind of like it. It was pretty fun. But now it got replaced with this thing. So I was gonna go ride Wonder Woman. Uh, don't worry, it didn't break down. Um, I'm actually gonna go see Voodoo Crew right now. Uh, there's a show that's starting in about seven minutes. So uh, I'm pretty close. I was like, hey, I might as well go watch it. it starts at 11.30, it's like 11.23 right now. So uh, yeah, let's go watch Voodoo Crew.
Russell and Job as usual by the Voodoo Crew cast. That was my first time seeing the show in full. So that was, it's pretty awesome. So now, let's go pay the Bartolomeis a visit. Time to ride Poltergeist. Can I get a honk? Can I get a honk? Can I get a honk? Please? Can I get a honk? Can I get a honk? Maybe? Honk? No? Okay. I might need to switch out some of these jerseys over here. James Harden is a sixer and Ben Simmons is a net. Yeah. All right, so I just got up with Poltergeist. Um, I just realized the boardwalk is still closed. Um, so uh, it's, it's closed like another minute. Uh, I could go over there and ride Pirates. I might skip out on Pirates today because uh, I want to go ride Iron Rattler and Daredevil Dive. I also want to go see this new show over here. All right, the one that we, we uh, saw, we walked by Texas State Square. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to make it there on time. I'm, like, probably maybe three or four minutes away. So I'll be able to catch the, maybe the, be the beginning of it. And I'm not going to be able to stay for the whole show. Uh, I'm not going to see the whole show because I'm going to be there, like, a few minutes late. But uh, I'm hustling. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so messed here. That was, he was dancing with a sign. That's awesome. Yes, get it, Sylvester. Hey! Stop it! That's awesome. Oh my god. Hey! That's awesome. Yes! Hey! Hey, I gotta do it one time. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Passing through Cracked Axle one more time, and I just can't get enough of this. Oh, this is so cool. I'm so glad they're finally gone vertical. This is awesome. I can't wait to ride this when it opens. Don't you hate it when someone has an exit pass or a disability pass and they uh, sit in your row? Yeah, that happened to me on Iron Rattler. <laughs> like, the station was so packed. Like, you couldn't, like, it was hard to tell, like, who was in what, like, in what part of the queue. Like, like who was in line for the front? Who was in line for the back? First of all, there were way too many people in line for the back, which has been a common trend that I've noticed for the past couple months. Um, and then... To make matters worse, there was a group that wanted to ride together, and uh, one of the trains on Iron Rattler has a couple of seats blocked off. So they kept like being like, "Yo, can I? Am I going? Am I going? Am I going? Am I going?" I kept telling people to go in front of them, go in front of them, and they wouldn't go when their group was going. I was like, "Just freaking go!" <laughs> yeah. And then to make matters worse, Jay uh, started working the ride on the left side of the train, and so I wanted to sit there and get in because I know he's going to give me some room. Um, and then the disability pass person comes in and sits in the left seat. And I can't, I, it, it was, it's the mess. And so that's going to go ahead and do it. I'm probably, I'm going to go ahead and leave. I'm going to grab some popcorn, grab a drink, and then go ahead and leave. Uh, I am going to be going to SeaWorld um, for some updates there. Uh, that'll be a separate video though. So, yeah. Pretty productive day. Got to go on three rides. Iron Rattler, Superman, and uh, Poltergeist. Got to see uh, Dr. Diabolical uh, in the construction day for that. Uh, got to watch Voodoo Crew and Viva Festivale uh, in full. Um, pretty productive day. So now I'm going to head over to SeaWorld and make another video there. So thank you guys so much for watching. 
Uh, make sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. How's it going, everybody? Uh, thank you so much for reaching the end of the video, or if you skipped ahead like I told you to. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just talk about a couple of things that I uh, meant to talk about while I was at the park, um, but I didn't get around to it. Um, so there's a lot of really cool events that are coming up. Uh, like I said in the video, um, the Mardi Gras Festival is going to be ending on February 27th, so next weekend, um, at the point of this being recorded. Um, so that's going to be pretty fun. Uh, excuse me, I'm reading stuff off my computer over here, because I'm not going to be able to remember every single thing, you know, me and my abnormally small brain. Um, let's see. So um, they're going to be celebrating the 30th anniversary, um, the official day. Um, is on uh, the 14th, I'm not, or March 14th. I'm not sure if Six Flags is going to do anything special for that day in particular. But, um, but yeah, just the 30th anniversary, uh, the day that it opened all those years ago, 1992, on Saturday, March 4th, 14th. So uh, they're also going to be kicking, out, uh, kicking off the 30th anniversary festival, uh, which will be taking place from April 2nd to May 30th, 2022. Um, there's going to be a return of some live shows. I know they're going to bring back um, Rockin' at Rockville High, which is awesome. Um, so I'm very excited to see that show. I know that was like a super long show from the past, but um, but now they're going to bring it back. A little shorter version. Um, so if you're really into the live shows like I am, uh, it's going to be a pretty great one for you to go to. Um, we saw a lot of the Then and Now trails, the mini museums. Um, I didn't get a chance to show off every single one of them, but um, they're all there. Um, and then here's the big one. So, uh, this summer, uh, they are also going to be bringing back roller coaster rodeo. So yes, uh, the big, um, uh, event is back this year. Um, let me go ahead and show off the schedule. I'm again, reading all this off my computer. So bear with me here. Um, so, um, for those of you guys who don't know, roller coaster rodeo is a three day event at six flags, CSA, Texas. Um, it's, I've been heard it described as like the Hollywood Knights of Six Flags Fiesta Texas. Uh, that's an event that takes place at Holiday World, um, you know, with Voyage and, uh, Raven and all those other classic wooden roller coasters. Um, it's a very popular event among the coaster community. Um, so we kind of have our own like big event. Um, I went to it last year and it was phenomenal. Um, so, uh, basically giving you a rundown of what, um, my computer's acting weird. Um, just basically giving you a rundown of, uh, what's going to happen during the event. It is a three-day event, like I said. It'll take place from June 10th to June 12th. Uh, so the Friday of, uh, of the event, um, basically you can register, uh, or you can, uh, redeem your event tickets, pick up your t event t-shirt things all throughout the rest of the day. Um, the park's going to be open all day that day as well, so you enjoy the park like everyone else. Uh, there's going to be a welcome reception at Zaragoza Theater from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m., uh, like a little welcome address, snacks and drinks, of course. Uh, and then from 9.30 to 11 o'clock p.m. is going to be the 30th anniversary party in Crack Axle Canyon Scream Punk District. Uh, there's going to be some exclusive ride time on uh, Iron Rattler, on Daredevil Dive, on Roadrunner Express. And um, it says on the um, website that Dr. Diabolical's Cliffhanger, the brand new roller coaster, is going to be open for ERT during that time. Uh, there's also going to be some heavy apps, desserts, soft drinks, adult beverages, and some special surprises. I know last year uh, they did the um, the Crack Axle Haunt, so they brought out, um, they opened two, the two haunted houses in Crack Axle Canyon, uh, Slaughterhouse 6 and Buried Alive. Uh, it was very memorable because um, the year before uh, for, for, for Fright Fest, it was Hallow Fest, so there was no... Um, um, no haunted houses during that time. So it was really cool to get the, the houses back open again. They had some, uh, some scare actors walking around, uh, that as well. Um, I, I did have a video on it. So if you guys want to go check back in my, uh, previous roller coaster rodeo videos, um, you can go check out, uh, some of the things that we did, uh, during that time. Uh, Saturday is the really, really big event. Um, uh, so basically all day you'll get early show seating, uh, free parking with your event lantern ticket, um, half off, um, Tickets for Slingshot and Screaming to Jiggle the Two Paid Attractions. Uh, you get this kind of event photos. Um, there's a roller coaster rodeo lounge that has snacks and water. Um, so uh, in the morning, there's going to be like a big cowboy breakfast from 8.30 to 9.30. Uh, and then from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., there is a reverse train track trail. Uh, I believe that means you get to walk down, uh, walk across the railroad. Um, that's cool. I'm, I'm kind of excited for that. That's going to be pretty cool. Um, 
Uh, then they have at noon, there is a exclusive super top secret event. Ooh, you know, our BS Texas's marketing team is full of surprises. Um, oh, excuse me. For those of you that know Jeffrey Siebert, Jeff Felico, Chris Oz Ozimek, uh, that whole team, they are incredible at um, delivering surprises. Um, then from 1.30 p.m. to 2.30 p.m., there is a Fiesta Texas Q&A panel at Zaragoza Theater. So part leaders will answer all, all kinds of questions about everything Six Flags. So I guarantee you Jeffrey will be there. Jeff will be there. Uh, Chris Ozimek will be there. Uh, probably with some other um, park executives will be there as well. As was a surprise panel member. Ooh, that's going to be interesting. Who do you think it could be? It could be Dr. Diabolical. It could be Taylor Bybee. You never know. Honestly, you never know with, with Jeffrey and the rest of the guys. Uh, there will be a collectible button giveaway from 2.30 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. Um, and apparently you do not want to miss this, um, that's according to the website. And then from 3.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m., what I'm very excited for is the Sharpshooter Challenge on Pirates of the Deep Sea. Uh, as you guys know, I am the self-proclaimed Pirates of the Deep Sea god. Um, and I actually won this challenge uh, last year for Roller Coaster Rodeo. Um, I was the only one to get over 2,000 that during that event. So uh, with my high score of 2657, um, I'm sure I'm going to come back and defend my championship once again. Um, from 4.30 p.m. to 6 p.m., there is the Rodeo Rivalry at the Roller Coaster Rodeo Ranch, which is basically just Picnic Grove. Um, basically, uh, all the small groups of coaster enthusiasts like Ace will be there. Uh, TSU, Thrill Seekers United will be there. Uh, excuse me. Um, there's also going to be a horse tra truff, tra I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, dunk tank where you get to dunk some of the Six Flags team members. Uh, dunking Jeffrey will be pretty funny. I will guarantee that. Uh, big rodeo dinner uh, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, there'll be a presentation from the park president and the marketing team. Uh, the awards ceremony for the Sharpshooter Challenge and Rodeo Rivalry. Uh, a surprise guest. Uh, we'll see who that is. Um, and then the Rock the Night is coming back this summer. Um, that's going to be from 8.30 p.m. to 9.15 p.m. Uh, an incredible nighttime show. If you've never seen it, it's fantastic. Um, and then from 9.30 to midnight, the main event of Roller Coaster Rodeo, where you get full park ERT. That's right. Every single ride in the park is going to be open just for Roller Coaster Rodeo attendees. Um, there's going to be a big Mardi Gras party in Spotsburg. Uh, Mardi Gras desserts and treats, adult beverages, snack, soft drinks. And uh, according to the website, the uh, Hungan House of Voodoo is going to be open. Um, uh, the haunted house, uh, that used to be where the Midnight Museum of Macabre is, uh, the one that's right behind the Voodoo Crew stage, uh, we saw, I guess, saw it in the video, uh, and then Sunday, June 12th, uh, pretty much all the same thing, early show seating, uh, free parking, all that stuff, um, from 8.30 a.m. to 10 a.m., there's actually going to be a really cool event, uh, that, uh, is required, it has a donation required, uh, to benefit the National Roller Coaster Museum Association, um, it is going to be a lift hill walk, on Dr. Diabolico's cliffhanger. So last year it actually was Goliath. We walked up on. I didn't. I wasn't able to do it. Uh, some other people did it. Because um, I'd walked up the lift up before. Um, and then at 9 a.m. There's also going to be a Dr. Diabolico's cliffhanger site tour. So I'm guessing you get to go inside of the, the track. I know last year we did Poltergeist. Um, so kind of hoping to do it again. Because you know the green track is pretty cool. Uh, and then from 11 to 12. There is a uh, Whitewater Bay Bash. Where you get uh, an hour of ERT in the water park. Uh, that's where I did my water park week video last year. Um, so yeah, I went to roller coaster Rodeo last year. Like I said, I made videos on all three days. Um, so if you guys want to go check out uh, and see how fun roller coaster rodeo is, go check out those videos. I'll link them down below uh, in the description. Um, so yeah, very fun event. Um, so the prices, let me go ahead and scroll up and find them. Uh, park admission is not included by the way. So you have to have like your own ticket or your own, um, like season pass or membership to get in or the new membership that they're doing now. I don't, really, I don't know too much about it, so I'm probably not going to get into it. Um, a three-day event ticket is $89.99 plus tax. And then the one-day event ticket, I believe it's just for Saturday, is uh, $69.99. So if you don't think you don't want to go to all three days, you can pay for just a Saturday. Um, there are limited event tickets. I went ahead and bought mine a couple days ago. So I'm definitely going to be going. Sorry, my chair is really squeaky. Um, so yeah, uh, there is limited availability while supplies last. So definitely go out, check it out. Um, if you want um, to go buy them for yourself, I am going to link all this information on the website and the, and the ticket prices uh, down below in the description as well. So 
uh, definitely make sure to go. It's going to be so fun. Uh, if you guys see me there, uh, be sure to say hi. Uh, I can include you in the video. I mean, you know, uh, anything like that. Uh, but I'm definitely going to have a blast. Uh, hopefully, I'm not too tired because I'm probably going to have summer camp the week the week after that or week before that. So, um, that because uh, the my first week of camp last year coincided with uh roller coaster rodeo the next weekend. So, uh, but yeah, guys, so definitely go check out roller coaster rodeo. It is so awesome. 30th anniversary is going to be huge. I know we're all super excited for Doctor Dive with Cliffhanger to open up. So, um, it's going to make the event even better. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, but uh, like I said, all details will be in the description. Um. Yeah, go and have fun. It's going to be awesome.